Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing great. I'm holding right here some sort of vintage base. I've got my thoughts on I think what it is, but I want your help. Um, I think this is a 71 jazz bass body with original pickups and uh, knobs. I think it's got a replacement bridge on it. Um, and then this neck has no logo at the top on the back. It's got this medallion here. It says original fender, let's see, what does it say? Original fender neck. And I think that that comes from the 80s um, when they were doing replacement necks, they put those medallions on them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guitar apart and you can come along with me on the journey. Maybe you can help me figure out what this is. And if not, I'll get a cool look at an old vintage uh, jazz bass. All right, so just a little bit of history on this. I uh, basically got this bass this last uh, two days ago, and it was at Music Go Round. I saw it sitting on the hook, the hanger there, and at first I thought this is a Squire that somebody's beat up and then uh, rubbed off Squire off the headstock. Looked at the tag, it said Fender, and I thought, what in the world? So I looked at it and it did have this uh, Fender medallion here, at, at uh, right here. I'm gonna make, kind of zoom up, maybe you guys can see that better. It's got this Fender medallion thing there. I'll take some pictures of it too, so you can see some good close-ups. And just with my phone, did a little bit of research in the store, and from what I could tell, there I think there were some posts that said that this neck was done in the, the 80s and maybe even the early 90s replacement necks that Fender was doing. I'm looking at my phone right now to see um, what the, the dating of it turned out to be. So when I when I looked into the guitardaterproject.org, which is just a great website to, to date old guitars, this is the website here you can put in the serial number, I put American Made, because I think it's vintage and old before they're making anything in Mexico. The serial number here is on the back of the neck blade is three, two, seven, six, three, seven. I'm going to submit this, and this is what the information that comes up that says that, that it's about. And you can kind of read it there, and I'll, I'll read it here to you. It says uh, the guitar was made in the Fullerton plant, the Fender CBS era in the United States, in 1971. So that's what this has to say about it, but I know a lot of times there's uh, some differences, um, you know, when something is made. You can see the neck plate. This looks to be original here. The body itself is worn out. I mean, this is, uh, I don't know if what happened to the original neck, if it was broken, but it would not surprise me because this thing has been used and abused. I don't know if you can see kind of in the, in the, the, the gloss from the, the window here. It's just dinged up. It's got all the original screws, or most of them, for the neck plate, uh, pick guard, I'm sorry. It's got all these screws in here. I guess whoever took it apart, took off this neck plate, realized that having the original screws would be a good thing. It's got the little thing for the finger bar. Um, it's got these screws here for um, that ashtray thing that goes on top of the, the bridge. Let's go one part at a time, uh, taking it apart, and we'll just see what we're looking at. All right, well, I guess if anything, probably the neck would be the best place to start. You can see in there in the neck pocket, or I'm sorry, in the truss rod, it's got the vintage uh, truss rod hole here at the, the base here, instead of it being up at the, at the top, it's at the bottom of the neck. And it's got that old school uh, Phillips slash two flathead, um, you know, like a good uh, plus there for the uh, truss rod. Let me take it apart. Um, and see what the neck has to say here. While I was in the store, the action on this was just horrendous. It was like probably a quarter inch off of the, the fretboard the strings were. And so I just took it, uh, you know, I wasn't gonna buy it if it had a broken uh, truss rod. So I asked to borrow a screwdriver, just use a little bit, maybe a quarter turn, half turn, and notice that, that the truss rod did adjust a little bit. So I think we're good as far as the truss rod being being in good shape. Okay. Here is the 
neck plate itself. Actually, not really dinged up that much and scratched up. Let's try to take this off. It's in there tight. All right. That is the neck. Okay, I'm gonna take some better pictures of this. My eyesight's kind of going, so I'm like, I have to be a foot away to see anything. So this is the, the neck pocket there. Or uh, sorry, the heel of the the uh, neck. It says J Uric, something like that. I don't know if you can tell what that is. What do you guys think that, that looks like? That's probably somebody's name. Go up the neck, and then, man, I cannot tell. Looks like that's saying something. Um, uh, focus. Come on, focus. What does that say? I cannot tell. March 14th, maybe? Mm, I don't know, something. This thing is wanting to focus on my face. There we go. I don't blame it. All right, so that's the the neck itself. Then I'll give you another close up. It's got these tuners too. Uh, these look like original tuners, and this is a hip shot tuner, uh, Schaller or however you say Schaller. You can see the medallion there. It says original uh, Fender neck, and from the little research I did, I saw a lot of pictures of this medallion being popped out and not actually still being in the guitar. I think that that tuner coming on top of it actually held it in, um, perhaps. All right, now let's let's dig into the, oh, let's look at the, at the pocket here. All right. So here is the heel pocket. Try to get it to focus there. I don't know if you can see what that says. What do you guys think? I don't know. Maybe flip it around the other side. Maybe that's upside down. I don't know. To me, this looks this looks original. I mean, the finish on it is to me. Uh, it seems like it's a uh, nitrocellulose finish. Especially down here. I don't know if that really comes across or not, but it's like cracking the way that it's cracking here You can you can really tell try to get it out where it's not in the light of the That window All right um, The next thing I know there's ways that you can somehow sometimes test the pots to see what uh, markings are on there to see what when the potentiometers were made. I don't know if that's, obviously potentiometers can be replaced and all that kind of thing, so we'll see. Um, it had an interesting, interesting way that the base, the tone knob on this, and maybe I'm just not familiar with bases as much, but my other jazz base on the tone knob, when I turn it all the way up, it's brightest. And this one, when I turn it all the way up, it's warmest. And then when I turn it down, it uh, gets brighter. It's like it's got a base roll off instead of a high end roll off. Um, so I don't know if that's the way they did it back then. Let's see the moment of truth. And wow. The moment of truth is I think that these are original. Because <laughs> if they're not, this thing has not been taken care of. Let me zoom up in this way. All right. There we go. Get kind of some of the numbers. I'm gonna flip it around here. Sometimes they're harder to read right side up. But sometimes those numbers uh, indicate when the pots were made. So if I, like for an example, if I knew the potentiometer was made in 1970 or 1971, I would be able to, uh, to tell that it was at least that old when it was made, the base was made. All right, well, 
All right, so got that, the potentiometers, the neck pocket, it gives us a couple things to look at. And this video may be boring to some of you guys, but to me, I just love this, I love old vintage stuff. Um, it just, there's a cool factor with vintage gear that to me, you don't get with, with new stuff. It's like, it's like I'd rather have an old, you know, beat up Fender basement amp than, than something new. Sometimes. Sometimes I like the new because it has less issues, but. All right, the last thing that we can do here is go for the uh, pickups. And I honestly know nothing about pickups uh, as far as the dating and that kind of thing. So if you know anything about dating pickups, please uh, hook me up with this in the comment section. Um, any information would be much, much appreciated. Try not to strip these screws because they're definitely got some rust in them. But I saw this guy on the shelf and I thought, man, there's just, there's just too much coolness possibly here uh, for this. I'm actually gonna use this leather in here. Believe it or not, the, the screwdriver tip on this is, is pretty sharp and it sometimes does a better job of grabbing on to Pickup covers coming off. All right, these are old pickups. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, take a look at this. <clears throat> I don't want to damage this. Um, I don't want to move this too much because I don't want anything to happen with the wines of this. Um, I don't want any, any wines to come undone or anything like that because um, I don't want to replace vintage pickups like this. For you pickup guys out there, let me know what you think because this, that to me looks like that's nothing but original right there. Here's the cover um, it does work I played it it does work most of the work that I've ever done on a guitars has been new stuff so you know buying parts on the internet and installing them and haven't really done much vintage stuff let's look at the the next one here it seems to me like I've read in the past that there is sometimes markings on the back of pickups or I don't know to me though that looks original I think that other than the neck being replaced and this this bridge being replaced but even that bridge seems very old to me which really brings me to the question next of what is a guitar like this worth um, I mean it's American made even the neck, it's a replacement neck, but it's American made, made by Fender. This is the actual Fender guitar. Um, if you've watched any of my videos on fake guitars, you know how I feel about fake guitars, and I would never slap a like a Fender logo on a Squire or something like that, but I wouldn't even have be opposed to putting a, a new Fender logo on here, because it is a Fender guitar. Um, I don't know, let me see. See what this guy looks like. Let's. Better, better, better. What do you guys think? That is cool, man. That is cool. I'm convinced there's nothing on here indicating that um, that this is a fake. You know, this isn't somebody somehow printed up a, a neck plate. You know, maybe I guess theoretically they could have, but. This just looks, that looks original. This says this body was made in 1971. These pickups are old as dirt. Um, and if somebody was gonna go through the trouble of faking a guitar, they would not stop at the body. It wouldn't stop here. 
and go, I'm not gonna put a fake logo on this. So, um, man, this is, this is, this is just cool. This is, this is next level cool. All right, guys, please do me a favor. Couple questions. Question number one, do you think this is in fact a 71 base body? Question number two, do you think that this is, uh, when was this made with these medallions? If you know anything about that, uh, what, what age next? Cause I'd love to be able to say, is a 71 body with a 80s replacement neck or something like that. Uh, question number three, uh, does anybody have any information on these pots? If these, these pots would indicate an exact age. And I guess ultimately the question would be number four, how much is all this worth? Like how much on the market could I get? What would somebody be willing to pay? You know, with vintage stuff, it's kind of hard to tell. I looked on Reverb, there was a, a base body, jazz base body, 71 black, just like this. It was in a little bit better condition, but it did have quite a few scratches. Um, and it was, it sold for, the listed was, it was no longer listed, so the listing had closed, but it was listed at 1200 or something, just for the body, no pickups, no, it might have had a bridge, but I don't think it had the potentiometers or the pickups. So that being the case, um, that's a lot more than I would expect. And then the base neck, you know, uh, if this is, it, it, it is, I mean, it's genuine um, from what I can tell. It seemed like on some of the forms they were talking and somebody said that a neck like that is worth in the plus 200, maybe the 300 to $400 range just for the neck. Um, you know, it's got the vintage tuners on it and it's got all the, the original stuff. Um, except for this one, but you know what? This might even be original. I don't know. Uh, maybe that was some sort of weird upgrade, but uh, it's got the hip shop uh, shawler tuner there. Um, with, you know, so would an appropriate cost be $1,200, $1,500, $1,000? What would be uh, a good price to list this at if I decided to sell this? I may just keep it if I like the way it plays. Um, and then also, uh, you know, these new are not new, but altogether is you know original neck. Um, these were selling on Reverb for plus two thousand, you know twenty two hundred dollars, twenty five hundred dollars. So I don't know. I don't know how much this instrument is worth. Um, this may have may have become the most expensive instrument that I had that I got for not very much money. So what do you guys think? Um, should I sell this? Should I keep it myself? How much would you pay for it? How much would you sell it for if you were trying to, to do it? I know a lot of people sell and buy a lot of different guitars, so I'd love to have that information. And thank you guys for watching this super long video. Um, you know, basically it's just a video of me taking apart an old bass, but this is the kind of thing I'd watch, so I guess if you're sticking around this far, this is the kind of thing you'd watch too. Thanks so much for watching. Um, please hit the thumbs up if you like this video, but more importantly, if you have any information on this, I would love to know in the comments below. And uh, I'll probably make a follow-up video uh, on this with all the comments that are made, and I'll, I'll post it again. But thank you guys for watching this. I'll check you out in another video.